Hey, buddy, if you really love creatures' features, you should meet my fishy friends. They don't have any eyes either. Hey, everyone, come meet my new pals. Bernie, if they don't have eyes, how can they see you waving your antennae? They can't, but they can feel the vibrations of the water moving. That's so neat. Bernie, you were right. Their features are amazing. Well, yeah, but they're not my only friends with amazing features. Carla, Sylvester, Cornelius, Crockett. No need to shout, mate. Easy, Bernie. You're making the walls shake with that noise. The pond, too. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Everyone, I want you to meet Crockett the Cricket, Sylvester the Spider, Cornelius the Crab, and Carla the Crayfish. Hi, I'm Tiny Pteranodon, and it's great to meet all of you. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Hello. Hello. Hey. So, buddy, I don't know if you can tell by my friend's features, but just like me, none of them can see. Really? You're all troglobites? But you don't all have antennae like Bernie. How do you get around if you can't see? Good question. It's different for each of us. I like to float in the pond, so changes in water pressure help me know what's where. And perhaps you've noticed my long legs? They pick up vibrations in the air to guide me around. And the two of you have antennae, so you see with those, right? <laughs> sure do, but not Crockett. His antennae help, but his hearing helps him even more. You're hearing, but you don't have any ears. Indeed I do, Tiny. They're on my legs. Your, Your legs? legs? <laughs> right here. So when I say use my ears to get round, I'm not kidding. I bet I'd be a great troglobite. I'd curl down into the deepest, darkest holes and walk around no problem like this. Ow. I'm okay. If I were a troglobite, I'd I want to be a fish swimming in the water. If I were a troglobite, I'd move so fast no one would see me. Of course no one would see you. Troglobites don't see. I bet it would feel pretty amazing to be any kind of troglobite. You'd see the world in a whole new way. That's true, buddy. And it gives me an idea for a little contest. I'm gonna hide four mugs from the dinosaur train snack cart. Then you'll close your eyes and use your troglobite senses to find them. First one back to the drill train with their mug is the best troglobite. Sounds great. I love it. Fun. Run around a cave with my eyes closed? I don't know. I brought five mugs. I want to play too. Sounds like fun. Don't you think so, Shiny? <laughs> Actually makes me kind of nervous. Well, to help you out, each of you will have a troglobite partner. And I'll watch you too. I won't let you walk out of rocking distance. So, is everybody ready? Yes! Okay. Okay, Junior Troglobites, do you each have your Troglobite helper? Yes! Do you have your sticks from the train for antenna? Yes! Then get set and go find those mugs! I hit something with my antenna! Yeah, you did! And what does that tell you? That something's there, and I have to go around. Excellent, buddy! Dinosaur Once upon a time, there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Pteranodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, Oh boy, my eggs are hatching! One by one.